I was born in Esquina County, 1924, right on the Mississippi River. My grandparents, my parents, and myself were born on the plantation and born and raised in the cotton field. And all the only time I've been out of Sequina County was the five years I spent in the service. Issaquinna County is located just north of Vicksburg, Mississippi. It's the smallest county in our state. Issaquinna County is probably, depending on how you define poorest, based on its poverty rate of 45%, it's about the fifth poorest county in the United States of America. There are approximately 1,338 people that live in that county today. Uh, about 338 of those are inmates, and the remaining population of 1,000 people, the credit union serves about 450 of those people for a 45% penetration rate. Back in 1966, uh, Clarence Hall was forced to sue the state of Mississippi for not allowing blacks to set up and operate nonprofit organizations. Approximately three years later, he chartered the Issaquina County Federal Credit Union in 1969. Because Clarence knows and understands the people in the Sequina County, he was allowed by the NCUA to serve for many, many years as chairman of the board of directors as well as president and CEO of the credit union. For the first 37 or 45 years, he did not receive any compensation for the work that he did. During those first 44 years, the credit union charged off less than $4,000 in loan and not a single penny ever came up missing. He had to work to take care of his family because his mother died at a very early age. He was not able to go to school on a regular basis, so when he did go to school, he took his books home. And so he was a very avid reader. E education was just so important to him. And his military background, him going different places and seeing different things made him want more for himself and for his children and for the people around him, his community. There is no other place in Issaquina County to get along, but with the credit union here in the city, it's an easy process and the majority of our people are approved. I think he made the citizens better as a whole as far as giving them more self-esteem by giving them loans and where they can have a better quality of life. This man is here to help us. And he's definitely a jewel to our town and our entire county. He believes in you helping yourself. So if you can get them to join the credit union, they can help themselves in the process. And they start their children out really whenever they are young. But I think he's a remarkable man. He's honest and trustworthy, and he's not going to put up with any foolishness, I put it like that. Not from us, from the, his children, or anyone else. He's just a straightforward man. Delta Foundation is a Community Development Corporation. It was organized in 1969. One of the main things is that we were a CDFI, Community Development Financial Institution. Mr. Hall has served as Vice Chairman of the Board of the Delta Foundation. He has served on the Loan Committee most all of the years that he's been a part of the Foundation. Over that period of time, we've made over $25 million in loans to small businesses. And most of the folk that we lent money to are still in business. And we're still lending to create other businesses. Western Hall was selected beginning January of 04 to be the president of the Western Line School District Board of Trustees, and he has served continuously since then. But way years before uh, Mr. Hall ever uh, served on the school board or thought about serving on the school board, he was very active in promoting education. We can go back to the 60s and the civil rights movement and integrating the schools in the Deep South in Mississippi. So, you know, there's all kinds of things. That's what makes Mr. Hall a great man. And I tell people when, I, when we have a meeting or when I introduce them, uh, Mr. Hall's a great American. 
uh, because of the things that he has accomplished. I just don't know a 90-year-old that gets around like he does. He's still in his right mind. He goes to any conference that, that calls for him to be there. He's not gonna miss a meeting. He takes care of his own house. And he's very independent and he doesn't like to depend on others, really. Whatever he can do for himself, he wants to do that. Clarence, my best to you on this award for a lifetime of sacrifice and service. Your selfless work on behalf of the struggling population of Issaquina County and lifelong embodiment of credit union values is an amazing achievement. In 2009, it was a very bad year for Clarence. Uh, in January of that year, his wife passed away, his wife of 65 years. He had been working with his son, Clarence III, to become uh, CEO of the credit union, had been grooming him for quite some time. In October of that year, Clarence III passed away as well. In the first quarter of 2010, uh, Orly Williams, the 30-year bookkeeper for the credit union, she also passed away. Clarence continued to work at the credit union, coming there every single day, and now at the age of 90, he still goes by the credit union every single day. I cannot tell you uh, how much he has meant to the people of Issaquina County. And to me personally, it has been an honor to be involved in the Wagner Award for him. It has been my extreme pleasure. Uh, I just cannot tell you this is uh, quite simply the best human being that I've ever known in my life. Well, I'm just thankful for God for whatever happened. I don't, I don't look for publicity at all. I don't look for my name to be in the papers and nothing else. This has happened because it's God's will, but I'm thankful that maybe the, my kids, my grandkids, my great grandkids, and other kids may see regardless of where you are born at, who you are, that you can rise and do good things for other people. Well, you know, that question be asked to me quite a bit. When are you gonna retire? I said, whenever the good Lord get ready, because I don't know. As long as I can do things to help somebody, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, the National Credit Union Foundation is proud to honor Clarence Hall, Jr with the 2015 Herb Wagner Memorial Award for Lifetime Achievement.